DNA replication is the process by which one DNA molecule is duplicated to make two identical DNA molecules so that the next generation of cells can contain the same genetic information. To understand how DNA replication takes place, we first need to remind ourselves of the structure of DNA with regards to the prime ends, as shown here. DNA is double-stranded, and notice that the right-hand strand is anti-parallel to the left-hand strand. Each of these strands undergoes DNA replication in a slightly different fashion, so I'll deal with each one of them individually, and then at the end I'll show you how it takes place together. So we'll first deal with what we call the leading strand. The leading strand is the strand on the left-hand side which goes from 3' prime at the bottom to 5' prime at the top. First of all, the enzyme DNA helicase unwinds and separates the strands by breaking the hydrogen bonds between the complementary base pairs. Next, the enzyme DNA polymerase adds complementary DNA nucleotides. Notice that the newly synthesized strand complementary to the original strand is anti-parallel. DNA polymerase is only able to add a nucleotide onto the 3' prime end of the previous nucleotide. As DNA helicase continues to unwind, the DNA polymerase continues to build the newly synthesized strand in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction, the same direction as the movement of the replication fork. As a result of this, we say that DNA replication on the leading strand takes place continuously. Now let's look at the other side of the original DNA strand. We call this the lagging strand. In the same way as before, DNA helicase unwinds and separates the two strands by breaking the hydrogen bonds. DNA polymerase also, as before, adds complementary DNA nucleotides. However, because of the anti-parallel nature of the original DNA strand, DNA polymerase has to work in the opposite direction on the lagging strand. Recall that we just mentioned that DNA polymerase was only able to add a nucleotide to the 3' prime end of the previous nucleotide. So what's different here with the lagging strand is that each time the DNA helicase moves up, the DNA polymerase is operating in the opposite direction. This results in the completion of the lagging strand in shorter fragments. The lagging strand is therefore being completed discontinuously as compared to the leading strand that was completed continuously. The fragments created are known as Okazaki fragments. In order to complete replication on this strand, the Okazaki fragments need to be joined together and this is done by DNA ligase. So to put it all together, here you can visualise the action of the enzymes on the leading and lagging strand and how they compare. Although in this animation I do show the nucleotides already there, recall that it is the DNA polymerase that adds those complementary nucleotides. To review, notice that on the leading strand the DNA polymerase worked in the same direction as the DNA helicase, moving up the strand from the 3 to the 5 prime direction on the original strand. In contrast, on the lagging strand, the DNA polymerase and helicase work in opposite directions and this leads to the creation of Okazaki fragments which must be joined by DNA ligase. Finally, two identical daughter molecules of DNA are created which are identical to the original piece of DNA. These daughter molecules then rewind to form a double helix.